first to tell you about a lesson on slavery backfiring at the St. Louis Archdiocese School. Now tonight, the church and teachers are apologizing. Yet, as our Melanie Johnson reports, what happened at the Florissant School shows in parents' opinion that educators in the church need some new lessons. She was nervous. Um, she did apologize for, um, for you know, being ignorant of, of some of the things that she chose to do. And I'm sorry, coming from the teacher under fire at All Saints Academy St. Rose in Florissant for a slavery reenactment gone wrong. Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat satisfied with being able to sit down and talk. Micah Shelton, among the few parents invited for a meeting with the music teacher, principal, in St. Louis Archdiocese after a history lesson parents see as racist. According to families, black students were chosen to act as slaves to their white classmates while learning about the Underground Railroad. Just my experience with my daughter. Um, the staff is not well diverse in diversity. The activity was based on the Negro spiritual Follow the Drinking Gourd. Follow the Drinking Gourd. I think teachers are pretty nice. Sometimes they can act ridiculous. Previously, the principal said students were not chosen based on race. Uh, the school did not know about her, the curriculum she used. The school released this statement following the meeting with parents. Quote, this lesson plan was intended to teach music and history in a positive light. However, we heard from parents and now better understand why it was inappropriate and hurtful to them. The school needs to be aware of what's being taught in the school and some type of plan needs to be in place for, for the parents to know what type of curriculum is being taught in the school. Micah says while the Archdiocese is promising to increase diversity and inclusion trainings for teachers, he's still not convinced. Can you forgive the Archdiocese of St. Louis for putting your daughter in that situation? I can because I'm, I'm a man of faith, so I, I can. I do, uh, I have uh, forgave them, but at the same time, um, something needs to change. Despite the Shelton's paying tuition at St. Rose, they still plan on taking their daughter out of the school. As for the archdiocese to address diversity, they say they're looking into initiatives and reexamining current policies. Melanie Johnson, News 4.